every moment I must work on being pure. While in jail, I was learning to be pure among the impure. Let your love increase for each other. I still have faith, even in all the persecutions and trials. If you have suffered for Christ, I will count you worthy of the kingdom. God's judgment is right. You deserve all that you receive. God is just. God will pay back those who have troubled me. You will rest from trouble now. I am here with my mighty angels. The fire of my vengeance will burn up all who know not God and obey not the gospel of Jesus. The angels with me are powerful. Unbelievers will be punished with an everlasting destruction. You are shut out of my presence and the power of my glory and majesty if you do not believe me. When my testimony is believed among believers, I am glorified. I will be glorified in and by you. I pray you are counted worthy of this calling. By God's power, I will fulfill every good purpose of yours and every act of faith God will perform. God has assured me that I'm not the Antichrist, but that I am Christ. The falling away, apostasy, has already happened. Protestants. The man of sin and lawlessness, Omar, has been revealed. Omar is the son of perdition, the man doomed to destruction. Omar has opposed the covenant. Omar has exalted himself over everything that is called God or is worship. Omar has set himself up in God's temple 
proclaiming to be God by calling it the Temple of Omar. The son of Muhammad is the son of perdition. I'm not sitting in the temple right now. Omar is. The revealing of Omar as the Antichrist had to wait until Jesus returns so that he could be consumed and overthrown by the words of God's Spirit that comes from my mouth and the brightness and the splendor of my coming. I am coming in splendor and I do speak the words of God's Spirit. The secret power of lawlessness is already at work with Arabs wanting to control the Temple Mount. Arabs, make yourself ready to share in the glory of Jesus by holding on to these teachings. By God's grace, He gives us eternal encouragement. Pray that this message spreads rapidly and is honored. God will strengthen and protect I have confidence that you will do the things commanded. May the Lord direct your hearts. Stay away from everyone who does not follow these teachings. Do the work of God so that you are a model to others. You've heard that if a man will not work, he shall not eat. Therefore, we urge you to earn the bread you eat. Never higher of doing right. If you do not follow, you should be ashamed of yourself. For people that don't follow, you should not warn them as a brother, but regard them as an enemy. May Jesus give you peace at all times and in every way. The master copy of the Bible and this book are in heaven. 